TSC Geography Hot Deserts. Today's learning objectives you will learn the characteristics of hot deserts and adaptations of plants and animals in hot deserts. So the characteristics. Because there's very little rainfall, 250 millimetres per year, it's mostly hot and sunny, there's extreme temperature change from 45 degrees during the day to 0 degrees Celsius during the night. Due to the lack of leaf fall, it limits the soil's fertility and the little rainfall means the soil is often left dried out. Due to the low rainfall, plant growth is sparse and usually low and short, for example low shrubs. Hot deserts contain animals adapted to harsh environments. Mammals tend to be small and nocturnal, birds tend to leave during the harshest conditions. Many people grow few crops near natural water sources, usually in the desert fringes. Indigenous people are often nomadic and keep travelling around to find food and water. Let's look at plant adaptations. So they tend to have small leaves, which ensure that less water is lost by transpiration because the leaf has a smaller surface area. They have something called tap roots. These are long roots, 7 to 10 metres long, that reach deep under the ground to access water supply. The tap roots are much longer and bigger than the plant, which is visible at the surface. Some plants have spines instead of leaves, for example cactuses. Spines lose less water than leaves, so are very efficient in our hot climate. Spines also prevent animals from eating the plant. Waxy skin. Some leaves have a thick waxy skin on their surface. This reduces water loss by transpiration. And finally, water storage. Some plants, known as succulents, store water in their stems, leaves, roots, or even fruits. Plants which store water in their leaves and stems also have a thick waxy skin so that they lose less water via transpiration. Now let's look at animal adaptations. A camel. Camels have long eyelashes, hairy ears and closing nostrils. These all help to keep out sand. They have thick eyebrows which stand out and shade the eyes from the sun. They have very wide feet so they don't sink into the sand because they're maximizing surface area to volume ratio. They can go without food or they can go out water for over a week because they can drink gallons in one go. <clears throat> They can go months without food as well, and they store fat in their humps. <coughs> the body temperature can also change to avoid losing water through sweating. They are also well camouflaged in the desert, and the thick fur helps to keep them warm at night. For more videos on GCSE English, French, Geography and Computer Science, subscribe to Know What for GCSE. But till then, see you soon.